Okay, so this is a fun subject which I love, and it is parasites. <laughs> Worms. They crawl out your butt. They crawl out the animal's butts. <laughs> Little boy, he could have some crawling out his. <laughs> Pinworms, roundworms, whipworms, hookworms. There's so many fun worms out there. Well, guess what? This gorgeous little plant right here solves all your problems. It's called wormwood. It's very controversial. Wormwood artigma used to be used a long time ago, if everybody knows what absinthe was. Absinthe was awesome. Um, it was an alcohol many, many years ago. I think, uh, gosh, hundreds of years ago, actually, that used wormwood and other herbs like anise and stuff to give it flavoring. They found it had hallucinogenic properties when you'd consume it because uh, when they're using the wormwood in an al alcohol process, it is absolutely like making it so strong and condensed that I think the chemical compound is called thujone that's inside this. It made it so strong that you can hallucinate and it's toxic, of course. So they removed it from the market. You can no longer buy true absinthe. You can buy absinthe that has, they call it a wormwood without thujone, which I don't know how they do that. It's some weird thing. Hmm. The point is this wonderful stuff right here, which I thought, Basically, I've used as a parasite control on my livestock and chickens and everything. I thought that was the big focus, was we need parasite control. The chickens, every year, if I don't give them something because they free range, they'll get roundworms for sure. Um, the livestock, we don't get much. We've really never had worms in the livestock, but it could occur. So we started growing tons of wormwood, and we would dry this stuff and keep tons and tons of it in bags and boxes around the yard and we'd sprinkle it in all their food, generally like the chickens or something, in a wet grain. They gobble it up. If they had worms, they will blow out that second. You'll see those worms come out. <laughs> well, the more research I've been doing on this because we've had so much of it over the years, I've realized it's exceptional in its benefits. Not only is it it's mentioned in the Bible, which is so cool in Revelations, but it's got a laundry list of healing that I've never even seen before. When I really got in depth, it kind of shocked me because, I mean, it goes from Crohn's disease to cancer to uh, indigestion, simple things, to diseases I've never even heard of. So I did a little test the other day because I'm used to doing it for a parasitic cleanse for all the animals, and I had pretty bad indigestion. So I thought, well, guess what? I'm going to go eat some of this to see if it actually helps the indigestion. And generally I, speaking, about that much is about all you need. Because when you take a bite of this stuff, the bitters might make you want to throw up. <laughs> I can handle it and I make people usually eat it that come here just to see a shock factor. <laughs> but it's incredible. So I took about this much, chewed up, immediately bitter. Oh man, it was gross. You want a gag? <laughs> Get it chewed up, because you got to chew it. you got to get all that good stuff out of it. Chew it up. Get it in. Okay? Done. Problem solved. Now, if you were really fighting some indigestion, those pump inhibitors, oh, it's gaggy. <laughs> pump inhibitors, Tums, you're killing yourself. Okay? You are killing yourself. You don't need that stuff. We do need indigestion relief, but what you need is something more natural. Mm -hmm. So when I tried this the other day, it blew my mind. That's how much I ate. I was burping fire prior to it, <laughs> probably by about one hour later in the garden. And I'm com commonly bent over in this kind of position, gardening. Mm -hmm. I realized that's the worst position for indigestion. I realized I had none after about an hour. And I thought, you know what? It'll probably come back later tonight when I have a glass of wine or something. And it never came back that night. And I didn't even notice a couple days have passed and I haven't had it since. Uh, I really can suffer from indigestion at times, and you know what? I was ultra shocked. Uh, nothing quite works like that, including a teaspoon of baking soda and water. It doesn't work that immediate. So um, this plant's super important, guys. I highly suggest get, get yourself a packet of seeds, get a plant, start putting them in the yard. I literally started with one, and it's all over my yard. It'll seed over summer. The plants you can see over here, we can come over this one. This is an old one here. This has been cut back so many times. Now this is what they look like when they come over summer is they get very unruly. 
I already cut this one back last summer. It'll be cut back again. And you can see all the fresh growth comes on from the inside. It w not so much on the tails anymore. So come spring, it's best when you get a big unruly one, cut it all back. It's just gonna keep replenishing. Once it seeds, I highly suggest do not uh, get rid of it. I think we're starting to seed right here. We can see, yes, yeah, see the little yellow seeds in there? You want this baby to seed your yard. Don't try and seed it yourself. Let nature do it. Let it go into seed and let it blow it around your yard. All of these plants came from this. They're all little baby plants that they kind of pop up over. I've got in the blackberry bushes off to the side over there. There's plenty of wormwood in that and in the front yard and the backyard. I let this stuff go crazy. The other cool thing is once you have one plant, easy propagation. Cut a chunk off bury half of it in the dirt and you're going to have yourself more wormwood you can also if you don't want to do that just grab the big long strand that's already growing and just bury the sucker in the dirt like this boom that is going to continue to make more throughout the yard this is not something you, be, you should be scared of it definitely is something controversial and you'll find things on the internet that are going to try to scare you from it do not be frightened of this plant and its disgusting flavor. <laughs> Save yourself the money. You can get on Amazon, buy pills and droppers of this stuff to help yourself for a parasitic cleanse. Get your own plant. It's stronger, it's healthier. Mm -hmm. You don't know what they're putting in those bottles. We don't even know how much wormwood's truly in it. Mm -hmm. So it just takes, like I showed you guys, a tiny little bite. If you got worms, you're gonna see them come out and don't be frightened, it's all healthy. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is something that we really need to probably talk more about in the future because uh, when I saw the healing capabilities, and I, I hope you all look it up on Google or DuckDuckGo or whatever the heck you're on, um, <laughs> learn for yourself because it's something we all need in our yards. Mm -hmm.